I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. I... I... I detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please.
I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here, important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here.
By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. If only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I 
I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. free. Come with us. That's the point. Cyber life 
is recording all that. I mean, they could be spying on us. You're awake now. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Markers. We should find a way to block the road. You are free. You're free. I need to block the street. Chosen to be free.
going up again. down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I'm beginning to have thoughts that are not part of my program. Maybe... Maybe I've been compromised too. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. 
So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. My actions were determined by statistical data. I'm not a deviant. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor, but I'm not gonna help you. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Absurd. He'd never choose that. I need to think like Hank.
Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station was Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding.
Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. I trusted you and you lied to me. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day, you pay for what you did to me.
It's dark. Where... Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! Time to return to cyber life. Wait! I can solve this case! I just need more time! It's too late, Connor. You failed. <laughs> 